We have got to stop worrying about the new supply. A lot of y'all wonder what is so special about this new supply? Why was I not good enough for this narcissist? And you are good enough. But they don't see it that way, okay? Nobody is good enough for them. They are in search for Jesus, okay? And they're trying to find that love that only Jesus can offer through people, places, and things, okay? The only difference between you and the new supply is that they don't have the knowledge yet, okay? They don't know what they're dealing with. So the narcissist is bored with you and they have ran off to something new and shiny. Your brain alive! I'd rather be shiny! Like the treasure from the poker writer wreck. Scrub the tap can make you look shiny! I will sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck. And they get bored very quickly okay so they're gonna get bored <laughs> with the new supply and try to come back to you <laughs> ah, ah, dumb. i'm bored with it now okay and we should not be waiting for them to come back okay when they leave you need to cut them off because when they cut you off you know they are just benching you Okay. <laughs> They're just benching you until it's time to sub you back into the game. Don't get back into that game, okay? Because it's going to get worse. There is nothing wrong with you, okay? You need to heal. You need to heal, okay? And don't worry about what the new supply and the narcissist is doing. They get worse over time, so everything that they were dishing out to you is going to be given to the new supply and worse because they get worse over time, okay? So if you are already doing that, okay, you are healing, you are learning to love yourself again, and you are done chasing the narcissist, that new supply might come around. I'm not saying all of them do this, but they might step into your lane. And all you got to do is ignore them, okay? Ignore them. See... And I, I understand. I understand because I was there. I was there, okay? See, when I used to get discarded before I met Jesus, I would always chase the narcissist, okay? Whenever I'd get discarded, I would make it appear. I would manipulate just like the narcissist would manipulate and i would make it look like i was on this healing journey and i was working on ways to better myself and i wasn't i was sitting there desperately waiting for the narcissist to come back and then he would when he would get bored with the new supply okay or you know when he wouldn't leave and he would stay around because, you know, they love to have their cake and eat it too. <laughs> I <laughs> was a private investigator. Yeah, Amanda, the old Amanda, used to be a private investigator. And she will find out the passwords to all them accounts, okay? <laughs> I was finding out all the passwords. I was finding out the location <laughs> of the narcissist. Okay, keeping tabs on the narcissist and finding out where the new supply was, okay, and pulling up. But the narcissist was always there when I would try to pull up on the new supply, okay, and beat the new supply up, okay. And I'm so thankful to God that the narcissist was always there, okay, because I could have wound up in jail 
okay, for assault. If I had got them hands on that new spot, on them little side pieces, okay, they are just some cheaters, y'all. They just, they don't know how to stay faithful. Um, or, you know, you know, fighting is dangerous. You know, somebody could get killed, you know. I, I could have wound up killing somebody by accident, you know. Maybe they have a health condition and then boom, dead. Now I'm in prison over this narcissist. Or they could have wound up killing me by accident. Now I'm dead over a human being. Okay, over somebody that don't want me. What? That's crazy. So, yeah, that that's how I used to be. So I get it. I get it. Okay. And they love to do this. Okay. So when they run off, they don't try to keep it a secret, you know, unless they're not sure. You know, once they're sure that they have this person, oh, then, then they're going to throw it in your face. Okay. They're not going to hide it. They're going to throw it in your face because they want to triangulate you. Okay. They want to make you jealous. And this is to make you insecure. Okay, this is to break you down so that you are easier to control. They want you two to fight over each other because this fuels the narcissist's ego. This makes the narcissist feel special. So you focus on your healing journey because everything, listen, everything that they did to you, stop reminiscing over the good. Okay, and remember all of the bad because there was more bad than good. Stop trying to make those sprinkles of good memories outweigh the bad. Okay, because there was a lot of bad and you don't want that. You don't want that in your life anymore. So you focus on your healing journey. Now, when you do this, <laughs> this is going to cause a narcissistic injury. They're not going to like that you're actually healing that you love yourself that they have not destroyed you <laughs> this is going to injure them they are going to be injured that they could not injure you so they <laughs> they're going to unleash the beast on you don't fall for it ignore them okay ignore the narcissist they hate wouldn't you ignore them, but they'll ignore you all day, okay? They don't have a problem ignoring you, okay? Treating you worse than a piece of trash, okay? So you ignore them. And, you know, that, you know, the new supply might try to step into your lane when you are minding your own business, when you are focusing on yourself. See, new Amanda... That happened to new Amanda, y'all. So the new supply, y'all, this girl right here, she uh wrote me this long message. I said, uh-uh, honey. <laughs> uh-uh, honey. I know he didn't just send this person right here with the disrespect. With the disrespect. Okay, I'm out of my own business and you gonna send this person over to me. You know, I'm trying to keep the peace, but they don't want peace. They want war. I did not reply. I know you believe you can keep this up, but I assure you. I, and I am so proud of myself. And the reason why I was able to do this is because I began loving me. I began validating me. I took my healing journey seriously. I took this journey with me and Jesus seriously, okay? So I was not bothered. You know, <laughs> y'all, that message was so long. Like, is you writing a book, bro? I could not even finish. Is you writing a book? You know, they wrote a lot, a lot of stuff out in that message, but said a whole lot of nothing. I'm doing it. I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. In some of these, in some of these. Almost there. Done. Huh. Now let's see how.
how it looks so far. The... Said <laughs> ah! a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh, they crazy. Okay, now I don't know what that narcissist don't put in your head, but <laughs> you believe the lies. And I, you know what? I don't have to explain myself. I don't have to defend myself. Because what you're talking is crazy. And I... <laughs> I don't have time for that no more. This is not the old Amanda. Okay. The narcissist sent the new supply to the new Amanda. Okay. You need to shut off that old. Okay. And let Jesus uh, mold you into a new creation. Because then you will not be bothered when this happens to you. Okay. I'm not saying that it always does. But it might just. It might just happen. Okay, when that narcissist sees you healing, he's like, oh, okay, okay. I'm out to send my crew on you, them flying monkeys, that new supply, and you need to ignore it. Okay, you need to ignore the narcissist, ignore the new supply, ignore the flying monkeys, ignore their friends, ignore their family members, and you focus on you. And your relationship with Jesus and he will heal you. So when that new supply comes trying to step in your lane, um, you will not be bothered and you will ignore them. And then the narcissist will get another narcissistic injury and they have to, you know, unleash that fury onto somebody. And if you're not there to fall into the trap, guess who's going to get it? That new supply. Okay, somebody got to get it. And it's not your fault that the new supply going to get it. But, it, you know, <laughs> you, you need to remove yourself from all of that. Okay, honey. <laughs> Remove yourself from all of that. Ain't nothing special about the new supply. Well, I'm sure they're a great person. I'm sure they're a great person. But <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're not valuable. That you're not a great person. They don't care about nobody. They're just trying to hurt you. And you need to focus on yourself. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what the new supply is thinking. <laughs> but they need to stay in their weight class. Like, what you doing? know your place sweetie <laughs> mister okay you need <laughs> to know your place don't worry about that new supply everything that the narcissist did to you they're doing to that new supply okay <laughs> well they're getting it worse than you okay <laughs> so don't be sitting there waiting for them to come back okay because they will they will, but don't sit there waiting for them to come back. By the time they come back, you should be healed and ignoring them. Okay, block them, block them. Okay, do not talk to these people anymore. Now, still pray for the narcissist. Okay, that's that's all you can do for them. Pray for them, love them, but you don't have to deal with them. You don't have to reconcile. You forgive them. And when you forgive somebody, you do not have to reconcile with them. Okay, now they have the new supply. This is what the narcissist wanted. Okay, so let them go live their life over there, which is, you know, some of you have been trying to do that. So when the new supply and the narcissist try to mess with you, ignore them. Okay? Ignore them and leave them to their little toxic relationship. And you heal and you glow up. Okay? And you be happy. You be free. Finally, you can be free as a bird. Okay? <laughs> Love y'all. Good night.